one of the struggles, I think, of our secular age, as people experience it, is the myth of authenticity. Right. What I mean by this is this, this overwhelming burden to be singular and unique and express your authenticity as a kind of one of a kind. Do you know what I mean? So on the one hand, there's all this burden and expectation in our late modern culture that you express your authentic self. What we don't tell people is how utterly exhausting that is. That to, to, and this is, to me, this explains the rap, rampant um, mental health challenges of 20 somethings. I teach at Calvin University, the, the, across the board in higher education, the challenges of depression and anxiety amongst 22 year olds is just heartbreaking. It's absolutely heartbreaking. And I'm convinced it's tied to this burden that everybody is supposed to be putting on their own show for the world. That's the, this myth of authenticity. What I think may, I don't have a formula to talk people into why they should belong to something. What I will say is, I think the desire to belong is built into us as God's image bearers. And I think the burden of this solitary expressive version of authenticity is starting to be felt culturally. And I think it's reaching a, a, a nadir which, and the very burdens and failures of this kind of authentic, individualistic, solitary way of imagining ourselves is, is going to be a kind of brokenness that opens people up to a kind of belonging that they might be surprised to find themselves